All right, welcome back to this college football 25 dynasty. I made a few changes. I restarted the dynasty because I had to do a few changes to the jerseys. Uh, so those are set. And I also added another team builder team. URI's actual rival, Brown University. I added them to the franchise, the dynasty. And I put us and Brown in the Pac-12. I know it doesn't make sense because the Pac-12 is on the West Coast. But if you know in real life, the Pac-12 is actually just falling apart. And in a few years, it might not even exist. The only two teams in the Pac-12 is Oregon State and Washington State. So I figured, screw it. Um, let's just put, because it would make sense for Rhode Island and Brown to be in the ACC with Boston College, Syracuse, Rook, all those teams. But this is a fictional world. Who cares? We put them in a division where now there's only four teams, including us. Um, where both um, both us and Brown, I believe, are cupcake rosters. Uh, so I use, I took over Kennesaw State with Rhode Island instead of UConn because I wasn't thinking, to be honest. Um, and then Brown, I took over, I think it was New Mexico, the Lobos. So those two teams ain't no one going to miss. But this is the schedule. Our first three games are all conference games. And I did turn on the conference championship for the Pac-12. Um, my goal is, as this dynasty progresses, I want to add more teams to the Pac-12. Um, some teams that are just terrible, that are in a good division or something, I'll just add them to the conference just to make it, you know, more teams. Uh, but for now, there's only four teams. We will have a Pac-12 championship. It's going to be the conference record. Um, although all of us are going to be playing three games, we, we, we could see Brown, honestly, in the conference championship. But that's on. And then I just finished making the rest of the schedule. Um, we are going to go visit Boston College in week four. We're going to be playing number 20 Louisville at home at Duncan Field. We're going to travel to Colorado to face Coach Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, and the Buffaloes. And then we're going to go travel to UConn to face the Huskies. Then at home, we're going to face Rutgers. We're going to Wisconsin. We're going to be at home against Sam Houston, going to Syracuse, and we're going to end the season against our rival, UMass. So this is actually a favorable schedule, not going to lie, because the only real good teams are Boston College, Louisville, Colorado, and Wisconsin. Other than that, all these games might be winnable. So that is exactly what our schedule is going to be like. Um, I'm going to go do these recruits on my own because I want to get into uh, an actual game this episode. All right, this is what the board looks like. We're actually number two on this gem three-star QB. I should be able to throw some points at him. I'm going to send the house to him because we are close to him and Arizona has the pipeline. So I'm hoping sending the house on him. This guy is a bust, um, but I'm still... He's got 85 speed, 73 man. I'm still going to throw some points at him. Because it doesn't seem like anyone wants him. We'll contact the friends and family on him. This strong safety. We're going to send the house on. I know he... Actually, we're probably just going to contact friends and family. Um, Because I... Oh, U, USF, I believe that is. For this middle linebacker. We're going to we're gonna send the house on him. See if we can steal him. Um, but I gave a um, scholarship to all the three stars and some two stars. Like this QB also. Six foot. He's not a gem, but we leapfrogged um, the <laughs> five-tier pipeline, Georgia. So there's a chance we can get two QBs. Like, just offering a scholarship, we leapfrogged so many teams. This guy, I'm definitely throwing the house at. He's a gem corner. Um, he has 91 speed, 72 man. His, cov his coverage isn't great. Ch 90 change of the direction, though. Um, this guy's a bust, and we don't have much on him, so I don't really want to waste points. Um, this athlete, we might be able to leapfrog Georgia, contact friends and family. That gives us 100 points. We can, uh, there's not enough good players to send the house on, honestly. We're already number one on these guys. This guy, Georgia Tech, is trying to steal. Honestly, I'm going to say screw it. I'm going to send the house, see if we can leapfrog him. I don't think we will. Um, but it would be pretty cool if we did. Um, this three-star, honestly... No, no, no. I was gonna. I was just gonna throw some more points at him, but I'm not gonna. Um, he's a bust. We already threw the house at him. Um, and then we already got some guys over here. So I wonder if there's anyone else that got added to this, cause the recruits were not very good. Like I have mo most of the best recruits on my board. Like there's not top tier recruits, and we're locked out of all the other good ones. So I got. 
on my board, I got who I got. I mean, there's not much else I can do. I guess I'll throw 25 at you. I know you're a bust, but I got to use these points somewhere. Um, I'll use the rest at this middle linebacker. I'll also contact friends and family for him and just see what happens. This is a bye week. I believe next week will be our first um, game, which we will be playing in this episode. Don't worry. There's not going to be another nothing episode. Um, we're first on a lot of those players, um, two of which hit top five schools. So that's good to see. Um, we're first on both QBs by this screen isn't always accurate. The bottom right. Um, I know my camp Brown's also trying to steal this quarterback. I know my camera's kind of blocking the bottom ones, but that screen's not always accurate. But we're first on all of these guys, which is good. So I'm going to keep there's that game Brown. Uh, do we not have any points? No, we don't. Uh, we got locked out by Kenyon Ware. That's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, oh, maybe it is accurate because Arizona is kind of backing down a little bit on this gem quarterback. Um, yeah, we're kind of running away with most of these players. We don't have points to spend for some reason. But a lot of these teams are backing down from him, except for this right outside linebacker we threw points at. It's not looking like we're not going to get him. It's looking like we're going to get... Um, that athlete so i'm actually going to take these points away because we're not going to get you and i'm just going to i'm going to give it to him i'm going to say screw it and send the house and see if we can just get him off of our board so that's all of our points i'm gonna see if we can steal him from georgia get him off of our board get those points back but here we go first game in the pack 12 brown won their first game so they want to know who did they face i'm curious on who they beat. probably not a good team but Rhode Island versus Brown University. Let's get it. Oh, um, before we start, let me just show you the settings real quick. I'm on All American. I am not on Heisman because I actually value my life. Uh, 10 minute quarters, Excel clock on 20. Everything else is the same. Um, I will be playing the whole game, um, but I'm probably going to cut out a lot. Um, some games I might play just the moments, but I would like to play almost the entire game, even though I suck at defense. Here we go, baby. Rhode Island versus Brown. Pac-12 conference game. They're actually overall higher than us. This is the first time you're going to see our uniforms in action. Just wait till you see our all-black alternates. Oh, my God. Are they clean. This one's going to go for a touchback to start the game. This rivalry game between Brown University and Rhode Island Sailors, even though the real rivalry is URI. Um, we we could have used URI, but I want to make my own team. But Pac-12 conference game. Let's get it going. Let's see how this team plays. This is my first time playing with this team. And this is your first time seeing the Duncan Field fueled by Duncan. They're going to run a little jet sweep to start. He slowed down and he gets hit. Demetrius Williams, um, Williamson, gets hit to start off the game. I want to see how this defense plays because they're not good. We have some stadium pulls here, not going to lie. Oh, I missed the tackle. And they're going to get the first down. I don't know how I missed that tackle. Now, I'm running a, I think it's a 3-2-5 defense or 3-2-6. I think it's 3-2-5. I don't think you can even run a 3-2-6. That is my uh, defensive scheme. And my offensive playbook is Kent State. Um, I explained that in the first video. I just played them in a dynasty. Um, so I'm just used to their playbook. As they are going to run it on third and ten. This team did not pass the ball once on that drive. It is 4th and 11. We're going to get the ball for our first offensive possession. How did this team win their first game? I mean, the game just started, but running the ball on 3rd and long, as I go nowhere on that punt return, I should have just called a fair catch. Doesn't make much sense, but here we go. Let's see the offense. Chase Freeman, our middle linebacker, and Demetrius Williamson are our two best players. All right, first drive on offense. We got Tyler Olsen, I believe, at the quarterback. We have Strickland at the running back. We're going to go for a run and play. He looks like a power back, and he's going to juke out left. And he's still going. 22-yard run for Spencer Strickland. And the first play in Sailor School history is a 22-yard run. We're going to actually audible this. We're going to give it back to Strickland, see if we can get to the outside here. Tyler Olsen hikes the ball. Strickland jukes inside, but gets stopped there for a gain of four. First pass play in school history. It's going to right there. It's going to get there. Bad pass. He completes it, though. I don't know who that was. I don't know this roster very well. Number three, that was Williamson, our best player on offense, our star wide receiver, who's like a 71 overall. Give it back to Strickland. 
we're going to have to be a strong running team because this team don't got much talent. So, I mean, running the ball doesn't – I was about to say it doesn't take much talent. I can't run the ball at even a high school level. So I can't say that. We're going to dump it out to the running back, Strickland, who's already having a big day. We get a third and one. We're going to give it right back to Strickland. Spencer Strickland, I think, is his name. I'm going to keep forgetting. See if we can convert. And we – fourth and inches. They want us to go for it. I bet. That's what I'm going to do. I don't understand how that was fourth and inches, but this is actually going to go to Tyson. And he is going to break a tackle, and he's still going. Tyson jukes a man, gets the first down, and a whole lot more. What a run by Tyson. We are in the red zone at the 19. We're going to audible slants here. Is going to be our best friend in this playbook with this roster. Let's see. Hikes the ball. They're actually sending the middle linebacker out. I'm going to have to just get rid of it. And Tyler Olsen is already at risk of a severe injury. So we, we might have to sub him out soon. And that's going to be a drop by Strickland. Third and 10. Um, this is going to be tough because I really don't want to kick a field goal here. Knowing how difficult it is to kick field goals in this game. Just get the screen off, Tyler, and don't die. And don't die. Get the block there. Gets the blocks. And he's going to be just short. Fourth and two. I don't. I'm not. Nope. I'm not kicking the field goal. I'm not taking the points. I came here to play football. We are not going to kick a field goal here on this possession. Fourth and two. This might be dumb. We're pulling out our Brandon Staley bag. And it works. Spencer Strickland having a hell of a day. We're actually going to sub out our quarterback, wherever he is, Tyler Olsen. Um, can I? Oh, I hit the wrong button. No, I didn't. Okay, I don't know how to sub him out, so I guess we're just going to roll with it. Um, Olsen, I know there's a way you can sub him out on that screen. Olsen, you're just going to have to kick it for a little bit longer, all right, buddy? Just don't die. Oh, that's, that's all I ask. Don't die. That's a bad pass. We just set up Spencer. He's still got a yard out of it, though. Um, double slants. How does he already have severe risk of injury? I think he got hit once. I, bro, weak. Bro is weak. Bro, definition of a cupcake roster. Um, fake Austin Eckler also gets the yard. That's third and goal. We are moving very slowly to this end zone. And this is do or die. I mean, we got two downs. I'm not kicking the field goal in this situation. Right there. Can he get it to him? He dropped it. I secured, catched it. I hit X and Paige drops the ball wide open in the end zone. He drops it five yard line, first and goal. I can't. I can't. Right there. He's open and he holds on. Touchdown, Sailors. That's Williamson, the star on offense, gets his first touchdown of his season, I guess, of his career because, you know, he's fake. He doesn't exist. We held him to a third and seven. Let's see if we can get a stop here and get the ball right back. Pressure, and we are going to get another three and out. The clock's probably going to tick down to the end of the first quarter, but we are going to get the ball right back to start the second. Oh, they're actually going to get the punt off. I mean, that makes sense. And don't forget, we get the ball at halftime, so start of the second quarter, we're going to start out on offense. Oh, Strickland, what a run. He doesn't have the speed, but man, is he having a day. I need to figure out how to sub out my boy Tyler Olsen right now because the, the, the man cannot be in the game. Is it not going to let me? I mean, yeah, I guess I can just do it by, um, whatchamacallit, by formation. So, the pole is going to come in the game. He's going to come in for um, Tyler Olsen. And I'm not sure what his stats are. All I know is Spencer Strickland is one hell of a player. We got a second and eight here. Let's see. We're going to keep it on the ground. Boring gameplay, I know. Spencer Strickland is a tank. Third and seven. This is where we're going to see Mr. Uh, DePole over here, even though they're leaving a gap. Um, we're going to see what he can do. We're going to run a verticals here. Tyson's going to be my little safety valve. Um, let's see. Let's see what he's got. Can he complete it? He does. It's a first down and a whole lot more. Tyson. Keontae Tyson already with 20 yards. We're all the way down to the five-yard line. Let's see a little halfback screen here. Let's see if Strickland can get in the end zone. He does deserve a touchdown. They look like they're ready for it, though. And they kind of were as the pole goes down. 
third and inches. Just give it to Strickland. See if he can get those extra yards here. He big body. Spencer. Strickland. He barely gets into the end zone. He's not in there, though. We're going to give it right back to him. Spencer Strickland. Really? He, I feel like it was a lot closer than that. Spencer Strickland. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Sailors. We're going to take a 14-0 lead here in the second quarter. And he drops the mic on him. There you go, Spence. Spencer Strickland, right now, player of the game. 11 rushes, 65 yards, and a touchdown. And he has a few yards in the air. Right now, Rhode Island dominating Brown. Third and five here for this Brown offense. And they have yet to pass the ball, I believe, in this game. Third and five. Will we see another run? We don't. We actually see a pass. Actually, they did pass the ball, even though it's an incompletion. And they've done a few screens that never were completed. Um, but once again, they have a three and out here. I, after this game, I'm going to go see who they beat because this team is bad i know i'm not on heisman so that makes me a scrub i'm on all american but bruh who the hell lost to this team here we're going empty backfield here third and seven ken brown forced their first three and out here we shall see i don't think they will strickland dives for the catch there and it's a first down nice ass play not gonna lie not the greatest pass from the pole but he is playing well here. He's going to play, obviously, the remainder of this quarter. Then we're going to bring Tyler Olsen back as Keontae Tyson is going to lose yards on that play. It was just a tough, tough blocking. Um, who, Keontae Tyson is actually getting a bit of wear and tear here. So we're going to have to sub him out because I think he also plays on the defensive end. As he jukes a man out of his shoes, gets all those yards, and then some back. But, yeah, I mean, uh, what you call it? Tyler, Tyler Olsen over here. Not Tyler Olsen. Uh, DePaul over here playing very, very solid um, to start off this game. And he is a very low overall. We'll see how he performs against better teams as Strickland right now is our star player, bro. On the ground, in the air. He has been everywhere. Bars. Second and five here, eight yard line. We're going to go slants. Our best friend, Ken DePaul, get, I believe. Oh, he's, he's, and it's a fumble. Offensive line. Brother, it's right at your feet. My, my brother, my brother in Christ. I think that was number 73. The ball was at your feet. Right there. It, it, it was right there. And you did not pick it up. That fumble was my fault because I tried to throw it away. I should just ate the sack. Pause. But, um, yeah, that, that was just not a good decision. And they passed the ball. And look at that. They get their first first down of the game. Brown is moving the football a lot here. They have not ran the ball once. And it has proven to be very, very successful so far for them as they have not thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. Um, maybe that will show a lot for them next quarter, next half, to see maybe they won't run the ball every play. Maybe they'll actually try and pass because we got a bit of a rush. They're still going to get the first down, 47 seconds left. They're not going hurry up, though, um, because college rules first down. The clock stops until you get to the line of scrimmage. It does not keep running. So, Brown... Stepping up, and he sacked Taj Coles, the first sack of the game, and I believe in school history, unless we had a sack in the first quarter, I can't remember. They do not call a timeout. The clock keeps running. Brown is going to get a big dot, and they're going to get into the end zone. Touchdown, Brown University. That is tough. 22 seconds. Uh, I'm not going to risk anything so there have been too many times in my own personal dynasties where i've done i'm um, just throwing hail marys essentially before the half and i'm not making that mistake because i usually throw a pick so i'm gonna audible this to a run get to pull some not to pull get strickland some more uh, touches and some more yards and that is going to take us to halftime rhode island 14 brown seven we have ourselves a good game. You know, the score isn't indicative of the actual game itself. Um, look at Spencer Strickland. 74 rushing yards, 14 attempts, and a touchdown. And he's got 35, I believe, in the air. Um, but, yeah, that last second score does suck for us. Uh, but we do get the ball back. We can hopefully extend our lead back to a two-possession lead here. So, Keontae Tyson is going to bring up the ball. No wonder why his wear and tear is up. He is our kick returner. He is our cornerback. And he is our backup running back. Bro is Travis Hunter out here, just not as good. Third and two. Pistol formation. 
slants. Probably should just run the ball here. But we're just going to throw it off quickly. He holds on. Not Williamson. Who's that? Number 50. I can't see your name. Foreman. Foreman with the big reception. Um, it looks like Strickland is out of the game, thankfully. Um, all the formations do not have him in. So that is good. Bad pass there. It's incomplete. If that Brown defender had any lick of IQ, that would have been going the other way. We're going to run halfback screen here, second and 10 to number 28, who hasn't really seen the field yet. Follow your blockers. Number 78, great block. Juke move. David DePole. Okay, that's his name. I was wondering what that quarterback's name was. He's having himself quite a game so far, getting most of the minutes because Tyler Olsen is just unable to stay in the game, apparently. Um, I am not sure what the hell that play was. Oh, it's a big play. Oh, it's a big play. Keontae Tyson. What a, what a play. I don't know how many yards that was. But he's got 52 on the day. Oh, my goodness. All right, we're going to bring in, I think, no, they're going to keep in David DePole. All right. Oh, uh, Hardy is now in at running back. We have we have a lot of depth there, huh? We have a lot of depth there. Right there. And David DePole to Williamson. Touchdown, Rhode Island. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. David DePole might be our starting quarterback, bro. He is out here throwing absolute lasers right now that is his second touchdown i believe of the day what a play there demetrius williamson in the end zone his second touchdown of the day this offense is lighting it up yes it is against a 68 overall team but 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 it, it, i'm very impressed right now especially with that what i think he, he could be like a 64 66 overall quarterback like, he is balling out of his mind right now. He might start the rest of the game. I still want to give Tyler Olsen another shot. But if Tyler Olsen every game is just going to always be tired or the wear and tear is just going to take a toll on him, bro, I don't see the point of starting him at that. I don't, I don't, especially with David DePole playing so well. Oh, my God, he broke every tackle. Oh, my God, he broke every tackle. He's going to the house. All right, I found our weak point. Apparently, it's our defense. Uh, number 18, I believe that is his second touchdown on the day. I think he scored their first one. And, uh, yeah, that's 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 tough. Um, Tyler Olsen in the game, even though I benched him, I, I put David, who is a 64 overall, um, as the starting quarterback. Maybe it was just for that play. I'm fine with it because I still want Tyler to get some reps. Okay, it was only for that play. Um, I'm going to have Tyler play. A little bit in the fourth quarter, most likely. Um, David using the feet. David, he somehow got back to the line of scrimmage. Not the fastest in the world, but third and seven. That was a good play there from David. Williamson is on the edge there. I don't know if he has the speed. He does not. We have to get rid of it. And he does in time. Oh, my God, number 18. Who are you? David, the pole's playing great. That was CJ Peaks. There, I think that was CJ Peaks. Yep, CJ Peaks there with the reception. That was clutch. That was a clutch reception because that was about to turn into a sack as we get another completion. Dude, 64 overall don't mean nothing. David, the pool, the pull. Tyler Olsen's back in the game. Okay, interesting. Um, you guys do you. Um, I don't know what that play was, but I refuse to run it ever again. Um, this is not good because our defense has been getting cooked ever since that last play of the first half. Tyler Olsen going to use his feet. He's going to launch it downfield, and it's incomplete, broken up. We're going to punt for the first time in this game. Oh, oh, that was near. They got the first down. That Oh, my God, he's almost still up. We nearly got the safety there. We're in the fourth quarter. We backed up to a six on the punt. And so close to a safety there. But the quarterback able to get it out in time. Moving the running back in motion. We're going to be able to break free. He is open on. Oh my god, he got launched. Open on the curl route. That That's tough right there. First and 10 for Brown. They score in this position. It will be a tie game. They are running the clock down. Right there. 91. What a play. By Jerry and Love. That's his 
third TFL of the game. He has been having a great game, the D-tackle, I believe he is playing. And he's going to give it back, and that's four. The fourth TFL for Jerry and Love. We got Strickland, and we got David DePole on offense. Do we have Jeremy and Love on defense? Let's see. He's Oh, my God, he's bull rushing. He, the, he's got no one. He's going downfield. Play on ball, and we get Moss. Tyler Olsen. Oh, my God, they have the same roster as us because of the cupcake roster I just noticed. That's stupid. I might have to go in and edit. I just realized they have the same exact roster as us. How did I just notice that? What a play there, though. Oh, my goodness, bro. We got mossed. Absolutely mossed there. Damn, I can't believe they're the same. I didn't know all cupcake rosters are the same. I thought they just auto-generated names. As Brown gets to the one-yard line, it's looking like they're going to be tying this game here. Not good, not good, not good. They're definitely running the ball here. Definitely running the ball here. They're going to go all the way to the left. Touchdown. Brown is going to tie this game. 4.36 left. All tied up at 21 apiece. Brown has been absolutely fantastic. In the second half, Keontae Tyson in the game for Strickland, who is dealing with some wear and tear issues. Great run by him. Let's see if we can get another one in on him. A pause. Four minutes left. Going to get rid of the ball quick. The pull. We're going to go to the outside. And we're going to get a second and three. Just under four minutes left on the clock. David DePole. DePaul. Whatever you want to say it. He's having one hell of a game. Spencer Strickland back in. Gets hit immediately. They read that like a book. Third and three. Tough situation here. We're going to go good old slants. Tyson's in the game. Let's see. They're going to blitz. And it's nearly picked. Ooh. I don't, honestly, might be stupid. Might be really stupid. The way our defense has been playing, fourth and three, they're not playing well. I'm going to trust our guys. And trusting was correct. And he jukes some huge first down. Get up. Get up, Peaks. Huge first down. I trust my offense more than I trust my defense, bro. Way more than I trust my defense. And now we're in a good position now in field goal range. That is the second big play that Peaks has made. Tyson going to go up the middle. And he's going to get nearly to the first down. Two-minute warning. We have a third and three. I'm going to give the ball to Tyson. I know I should be trusting my passing game more. But Tyson has just been nuclear here in this fourth quarter. Taking over for Spencer Strickland. And we have all the momentum right now just under two minutes remaining well into field goal range spencer strickland cutting up the middle gets taken down for four yards i mean this is all you can ask for right now a tie game going down to the last minutes the last seconds where island hikes the ball Keontae tyson the leader of this drive brown now using their timeouts realizing what is happening and what is going to happen Keontae Tyson running this drive here unbelievable we're going to audible this to a pass because I feel like yup yup and he could not get it off second and goal we bring in Tyler Olsen here but that is because we are going to run the ball see if Tyson continue his magic Tyson has a red carpet touch down sailors we take the late fourth quarter lead all behind Keontae Tyson's amazing drive all the way from like the 20-yard line. Him in that big, big play from Taj, I think it's Taj, Peaks led us to that moment. And now a minute and a half left for the Brown Brunos. They got two timeouts remaining. They're going to get a touchback down at the 25-yard line. We have double their possession time but it is a tie game they've been locked in, in the second half for the snap and it's going to be a completion he's going to run out of bounds defense has definitely been the weak spot here i'm not gonna lie you guys have seen it defense is not especially in the air on the ground our defense is fantastic in the air though we have just been getting completely burnt and there's a great example right there oh my god williamson Big reception. Now I know their names because it's, it's the same as ours. That's tough. 
They've got everyone. They got five wide right now. Come on, boys. Come on. Just uh, he dumps it out to the tight end. They got so much time. That's the problem. They have so much time. A little over a minute left. First and ten. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. No! Come on, boys! What are we doing? Oh, our defense is getting absolutely rocked right now, bro. The Williamson for the other team has 165 yards. It's coming down to our offense. It's coming. Four plays. They scored in 24 seconds. We're going to need another magical drive. Brown has now eclipsed us. Um, and I think that was total yards. We're going to need another magical drive. It all starts with Keontae Tyson going out of bounds. Keontae's got 90 yards in the air. That, along with his 65 on the ground, as we are going to get the first down. Bars. Bars. Going to run the same play here. Clock starts ticking. Now down to the line of scrimmage. Let's see. Let's see. The pole. Oh! I do! I passed the line of scrimmage, bro. I wanted... Why do they want us to run? No, we ain't running. We ain't running yet. Not yet, not yet. No one field goal range. I wanted to give it to the tight end right there by past the line of scrimmage. I was ready to give him that. Just send a rocket down to him. They think we're... They blitz. And we drop the ball. All right, we're still in field goal range. I'm fine with this because we are in field goal range. They still have a timeout, which kind of sucks. Um, But we're in field goal range. We just can't lose any yards here. We cannot lose any yards here. If there's anyone I trust... It's Keontae Tyson and David DePaul. Let's go. Let's go. 25 seconds left. We ain't calling a timeout yet. We're going to run one more, one more play. We get a first down. We'll call a timeout. But one more play. Here we go. We're going to give it to Strickland. He's going to get the first down. 12 seconds left. We're going to call a timeout. I want to get closer for our kicker. I definitely want to get closer for our kicker. I probably should run it. I'm going to put it in the hands of Keontae Tyson. Put it in the hands of Keontae Tyson. Run the ball. Run the ball. He gets a lot more. We're going to let this clock run down a little bit. Right there. Four seconds left. They're definitely going to ice us. But can we get a game winning field goal on our first game? The meter's going nuts. As I hit X, they call timeout. As I hit X, they call timeout. Oh, my God. Can we do it? Not even close. Not even close. We're going to overtime. All right. I mean, Brown, please don't start with the ball. We have won the toss. We want that M. Uh, we want that mf -er. Who would have thought our first game of this episode would go to overtime against our rivals, bro? Against our rivals, we're going to overtime. You don't know how college overtime rules work. You start off on the 25-yard line. There are no time. I mean, no clock. You score, then you have to stop your opponent from scoring. If your opponent does not score, you win the game. If your opponent scores, oh, Spencer Strickland gets hurt. Uh, if you score, um, if you score again, I believe your opponent gets another shot. Um, I'm not too sure on that, um, but we'll see. We're going to RPO here, up the middle. Number 22, Page in the end zone, just like that. What was that, two plays? And we're in the end zone. This offense was firing on... Like, we have double their possession time. And so many more yards than them. And we're in overtime because of our defense. Two plays. That's all it took. That's how much I trust. This offense is beautiful. Now it's Brown's opportunity to try and score. And knowing our defense and the way they've been playing this game. Spencer Strickland, we're going to have to sub out. Bro, come on, bro. We The stats just show that we are playing so much better. In every single category. But yet here we are. In an overtime situation. And they are immediately. Going to get to the one yard line. With the same exact player actually. Because the rosters are the same. Oh my god bro. What the hell. <laughs> this is insane bro. And they're going to. And yep they're in the end zone. Wow our defense is bad. Alright oh we go straight to defense again. You got to be kidding me. Our defense is so sorry bro. Like, actually so sorry. Our defense sucks. Like, now we can't now we can't stop the run? What is happening? What ha 
What happened at halftime? I want to know what happened at halftime to our defense and what happened at halftime to their offense. Because our defense was locking down in that first half up until that from last play of the quarter. Because I, I don't know what the hell is going on here. I hope... I don't know how the, the rules work at this part. Never made it this far. Usually I can get a defensive stop at the second possession, but no. Apparently not against Brown University. Come on, guys. Right there. Picked off. What a pick. Who was that? Who are you? Who is my savior? I'm not going to be able to see. I'll, I'll find your name. We just need to score here. We just need to score here. That's all we need to do when we win the game. We score. We win the game. I think it needs to be a touchdown. I think it needs to be a touchdown. Like I said, I don't really know how the rules work. We're going to give it up. Keontae Tyson, the man has been balling this game. He has 100 yards and he's a running back. 100 yards for Keontae Tyson today. He has been absolutely insane. Tyler Olsen's back back in the game for some reason. I'd rather have the poll, but he still gets the, the pass off. Who else? Who else but Keontae Tyson? The, this game started off with Strickland being player of the game. He sadly goes down with an injury. But this man right here, Keontae Tyson, has completely taken over. I'm a, why, why are you guys asking for four verts, bro? We are at the eight-yard line. Why would I want to run four verticals right now at the eight-yard line? Makes, makes sense, right? All right, right here, right there. Number 15, one-yard line, third and goal. Third and goal, third and goal. This is not a drill. We've ran 10 more plays than them. We've doubled their possession times. We have over 100 more yards than them. And we, Keontae Tyson can't get in. No way, how? How, 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 We're going back to the running game. There's no way, there's no way, there's no way. There's no way we don't get in here. There's no way, and we do. The Rhode Island Sailors win a nail biter. A nail biter against Brown. Oh my goodness, bro. Overtime went to the final plays of the game. 38, not 38, 30, what, did I say 38? It's 35, right? Player of the game, Keontae Tyson, those are only his rushing stats. His receiving stats were a lot better. It was 35-41. My brain broke and saw 30. Like, we scored every single quarter, and then the Brown, just that fourth quarter, killed us. Final stats, I mean, David DePaul might have won the starting spot, but Tyler Olsen in limited time due to wear and tear, he played really good too. Not as many yards, but 11 of 18, two touchdowns, 87 yards. But, I mean, David DePole might be the starter next game. 23 of 28, 299 yards and a touchdown on 82%. I mean, that's just phenomenal. I don't see how I can't start him next game. I don't see how. Rushing-wise, I mean, Spencer Strickland, although he got hurt, 19 attempts, 93 yards and a touchdown. Beautiful. Keontae Tyson, the star of this game, 11 attempts, 68 yards and a touchdown. And then Ty Hardy also got into the end zone for a touchdown. I think he he won us that game, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Receiving-wise, yep. Keontae Tyson, the running back, 5'11", 11, 11 receptions, 11, 11 yards, 111 yards. Uh, Demetrius Williamson had both our touchdowns. He had 90 yards, 46 for CJ Peaks, uh, 43 for Spencer Strickland. Scott McLellar had 30, uh, 38, the tight end. Scooter Page with a touchdown at 20. Five. Who's who's number 18? Who's number 18 that was balling out for us? Right, yeah, CJ Peaks. Absolutely clutch. Those two catches, both clutch catches. Blocking-wise, I mean, Demarcus Perkins had 15 pancakes, bro. That's actually nasty. Only one sack allowed this game. Um, TFLs, Jerry and Love, four TFLs. Who had that pick? It was Jaden Bowie, the senior from Watertown, Connecticut. 71 overall corner with the game ceiling pick. Uh, Taj Coles had also a sack. Beautiful game from the Rhode Island Sailors. All right, weekly advance. We do level up, so we're going to be getting some points here. Let's advance to the week, see how our recruits are doing in the next episode. We'll continue. We'll be facing, I believe we're facing Oregon State next episode. We're still first on most of these players. We did not get a recruit yet, uh, which sucks. I figured we'd get one by now, uh, but that was a big win against Brown. Uh, was it this guy that was close? It was one of them that we were like literally at the tip on. Pause. 
literally like so close oh nope that was jeremy love gets pac 12 defense player of the week there's only four teams so that can't be that hard to get um we're going up against oregon state uh this episode yep well not this episode next episode we still have no recruiting points probably because we used them all um but we have 20 coaching skill upgrades i'm gonna save that for the next episode anyways if you guys did enjoy this be sure to leave it a like i know i sure as hell enjoyed it and i'm gonna keep up with this probably more than road to glory because this is fun anyways that's gonna be it for me gg